Alrighty, for those who want to know how to Euler dodge like me, uh, the method that I used for racing from that previous video, here's what I did. So, of course I let you go e to the x, like a maniac. Whenever you have something like this, where you have u times and then a square root of some quadratic polynomial, what I would do is I let u, w equal u plus the square root of u squared plus u plus 1. Okay? Be very careful. Um, if your denominator, I'm going to write this in yellow. So whenever you have a that's not equal to 1, let u equal the square root of a x plus the square root of a x squared plus bx plus c. The whole purpose of this is so that when you do u squared, okay, this and this is going to cancel out. Okay, so you brought this at that side, you get ax squared minus 2u square root of ax, and yeah, you, you get the idea. Okay, so ax squared plus bx plus c, when you square both sides, this and this cancels out. Okay, so that's, that's the whole idea. So don't forget that, just keep that at the back of your mind, but here, uh, thankfully, this is a monic polynomial, which means that the highest degree has a coefficient of 1. So, thankfully, we just have to have u. Okay? Time for the most annoying part. The most annoying part is we let w minus u equal this. The most annoying part is finding du, because you're force subbing, technically. So... We square both sides, we get w squared plus u squared minus 2uw equal to u squared plus u plus 1. So u squared is going to cancel out. w squared, grab that, grab that 1, and then put this to the other side. We have 2uw plus u, and you need to factor out that u. So we get 2w plus 1. Now we have, two, uh, we have w squared minus 1. 2w plus 1 equal to u. And how do you find du? Quotient rule. Yes. This is annoying. Let's see. This 2w, 2w plus 1 minus uh, 2 times w squared minus 1. Okay. Now, infinity, infinity. Plug in 1, you get 1 plus root 3. Okay, then here we go ahead, we have our dw, all right, u, what is u? u is right here, right, w squared minus 1, 2w plus 1. What is this? This is w minus u, so this is w minus u, which is w squared minus 1. I know this looks horrid, right? Welcome to Euler dodging. This is why I don't teach it in my integration B training. <laughs> so we have, and then don't forget the du. Don't forget the du. This is 2w plus 1 square. And this is what? You could even simpli you could simplify this. Uh, 4w square minus 2w, right? Oh, no, that, that's plus. Minus 2w square plus 2. Okay? And we notice this is going to be plus because it was a minus. Okay, and we notice we can factor out that 2. Alright, that 2w plus 1 squared is going to cancel this out. So we get w squared minus 1, and then this is what? w times 2w, 2w squared plus w minus w squared minus 1. Oh, sorry, plus 1, because of that negative, uh, canceling that out. Uh, two, do, 2 minus 1 is 1. Oh, we just look at that. This cancels out with this. So we get dw. So this is what we have left over. So this is 2 uh, inverse tanch, a negative inverse tanch of w, infinity to 1 plus root 3. Plug in infinity, 
uh, it technically equals to zero, uh, converges to zero, technically. So what we have is negative, uh, well, positive two inverse tanch of one plus root three, but we cannot leave our answer like this because this is a complex number. You cannot leave your answer like this. So you simplify it more. This is, let's see, that half is going to get canceled out with that two. And then we got one plus this, which is root three plus two over this minus one is root three. And so our answer is ln of 1 plus 2 over root 3. And this is our answer. Okay? So this is how you do Euler dodging. So, again, look how crazy. This, this is what scares people. This is nasty, and this is nasty. There's a reason why we don't really do it often in speed integration, but whenever we have something nasty like this, and we can't do anything about it. We can't use trig sub, or you know, constant juggling. This this was this is this is the way to go, right? It's just a lot nicer, um, unless you want to risk uh, constant juggling, uh, so many constant juggling. Then that's if you're if you're more of a manipulator in trig, go ahead. I can't stop you, but I prefer just just Euler dodge than constant juggling with trig integrals. This is what I used to race, <laughs> okay? But stick to that first video. <laughs> the first video is a lot nicer. Let, let u equal an e to the negative x instead, and then just do hyperbolic sub, okay? So much, so much faster. All right, uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.